Hey, this is Brett, and this 2014 Ram 2500 Crew Cab Short Box Laramie is stock number 13581Z. I'm here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy-duty truck and Ram headquarters. This 2014 Ram 2500 has the 6.7-liter Cummins diesel engine. It's paired up with the 6-speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. This truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process, has a fresh oil and filter change, all the fluids have been checked and topped off, and it is 100% ready to go. I'm going to go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, and take a look under the hood to give you the most accurate representation of the vehicle possible. Flame red over bright silver metallic is the color scheme. I shoot all my videos in 4K, so if you have HD capabilities, turn them on out because it is your best way to check out the quality, condition, options, and cleanliness of the truck before seeing it in person. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as access to one of the largest used vehicle and new vehicle catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube, which is pretty sweet. Comes with the 18 inch polished aluminum wheels and it has Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain adventure tires. These are LT275 70R18s. They have just about half the tread left on them. Frame and underbody is in really nice shape. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax out of New York. Front fender's in great shape. Headlight lenses are nice and clear. You get the projector lamp headlamps, LED running lights, and the factory fog lights. Front bumper is in very nice condition. Didn't see any major dents or dings on there. Looks pretty good. The grill is in pretty nice shape. You get the chrome trim grill. There is one tiny little crack right there. Nothing too bad. Does not affect the performance of the truck. The hood's in really nice shape as well. And the passenger side front fender is in fantastic condition too. Passenger side front wheel, no major imperfections on there, just a little bit of um, oxidizing. As you go down the passenger side, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the truck, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Pretty nice down that side. His back wheel is in nice condition as well. No major scuffs or scrapes in there. And the back tires have just as much tread as the front tires, maybe even a hair bit more. Frame and underbody is in pretty nice condition. For a 2014, keep that in mind. It has all the remaining factory exhaust, so it hasn't been altered in any way. And the underbody looks really good on this truck. Lower rockers and cab corners are in nice shape. And you get the really nice wheel-to-wheel -wheel side steps. Only thing I saw is one little ding right there. Did want to point it out. These are used vehicles. They're not all going to be perfect, but we try to get them as good as we can. Coming around to the back, rear bumper is in nice shape. Does have the backup parking sensors, full towing package, of course, with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Tailgate's in pretty nice condition as well. Once again, did see one little ding right there, but that's why we point them out. That's why we do the videos. Undercover flex fold up tonneau cover, that's in really nice shape. And back here, you get a very nice spray and bed liner, fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package as well as seven pin wiring. That bed liner goes onto the tailgate, which is a really nice feature to have as well. Shuts nice and solidly. And coming around the driver's side, look how nice that paint is. Very reflective, very shiny, looks really good. Back wheel is in excellent shape as well. And down the rest of this side of the truck, cab and doors all look pretty good. This one does have the heated fold-up tow mirrors, built-in directional signals. They fold up like so. They fold in like that. Inside the Laramie package gives you the tan leather interior. You get the bucket seats in the front. No major rips or tears on the seats. Smells very clean inside the truck. You get the Laramie embossed backrest. Power driver seat with lumbar and memory driver seat. Factory all-weather floor mats, auto headlamps. Power windows, locks, and mirrors. 
You get the nice leather bolster and one great wood grain trim on there. Back seats are just as clean as front seats, no rips or tears back here. It does come with the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Power sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These seats are heated on the outboard side. They fold up like so. You get a load floor, which is nice. You got muddy boots or tools, put them on there. You're not gonna get your nice leather seats dirty. Or if you got pets, put both sides down. They got a nice flat place to lay. And once again, they're not gonna get your seats dirty or wreck them. Get storage underneath there. And you get in-floor storage on each side with removable containers for easy cleaning. You can put ice and drinks in there. And it's like you have too many coolers wherever you go. Or if you're not in Wisconsin, just extra storage space. There are your heated seat buttons as well as a 12 volt power point. And you also get the speakers in the ceiling, which are part of that Alpine premium sound system. Child safety locks on the back doors and the inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good on this truck as do the cab corners back here. Really a nice truck, considering the age on it. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this truck has to offer on the interior. You can see that this one has, get the nice animation there, 60,844 miles. You get the digital speedometer, compass, and outside temperature display. This one comes with the heated leather-wrapped steering wheel. Cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, as well as audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. Comes with the six-speed 68 RFE automatic transmission. This one also has the 8.43C radio. You get your factory navigation system on there. There's Highway 41, so that is working perfectly. AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You have your heated and cooled seat buttons, as well as your heated steering wheel button. You also have a cargo cam here, which is pretty sweet. Um, and for some reason, you got to select that one to get the cargo cam to come up. Anyways, uh, the backup camera is in the rear view mirror. So that is there. And uh, you get all your other different apps on here. And uh, yeah, really nice system here. Down here are your more tactile climate and volume and tune controls. Turn dial four wheel drive, factory brake control. You got your more tactile heated and cooled seat buttons, as well as your stability control, tow haul, factory exhaust brake, and your backup parking sensors. You can turn those off and on. It does have 115 volt, 150 watt plug in right there. And your keyless entry has your remote start on there as well. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition. Looks really good. Headliner is in really nice shape as well. And you do get map lights, power slide and rear window button, and your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. 911 and assist buttons in the mirror. I am gonna start it up in just a second. I wanted to show you the tire and loading information sticker before we do that. And then the VIN sticker right here. All right. Start it up, take a look under the hood. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality condition options and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around, inside and out. See all those lights are working perfectly. Under the hood, we have the 6.7 liter Cummins diesel. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. Shocks are doing a nice job holding that hood up. There is the emissions sticker. And considering the age and miles on this truck, I would highly recommend it from a quality and condition standpoint. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, you get updates on the videos I do each and every day as well as access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Ram 2500 truck videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those checks out. 
We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2014 Ram 2500 crew cab short box Laramie with in flame red over bright silver metallic. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.